Hi guys, I'm Marcus and today I'm going to show you a pretty basic light setup for shooting talking head interviews. I've been doing stills photography for about 20 years and it wasn't until 2019 that I also started getting into video since more and more clients ask if I can do simple video shoots as well. So from my experience it's good to be able to deliver both stills and video. Now I don't claim to be super professional regarding video. I think I have a lot to learn but uh, I think it's really interesting and fun and uh, the last year I've learned a lot compared to when I got started and I thought I'd share some behind the scenes of a talking head interview I did a couple of months ago. I use lights from Aperture because I think they are the perfect mix between price and quality. When I started doing lighting for video I bought a couple of LED panels from eBay for a couple of hundred dollars each and that's a good place to start but pretty soon you get higher demands on versatility, power, overall quality of lighting gear so this setup was the next step for me. In this setup I used an Aperture 300D Mark II with a Light Dome 2 softbox as key light and an Aperture 120D Mark II with a Light Dome 2 Mini pointed straight up so that the light would bounce off the ceiling and light the background. And also a bowling P1 RGB as backlight or rim light or whatever you want to call it. We also have a practical light in this scene, that little lamp in the background there. And here's a little walk around video of this setup shot with my iPhone 6s so the quality isn't the best but that's what I had to work with. Here is my setup for today. Uh, we're gonna shoot some simple interviews. Uh, three people here. Uh, so we have my camera, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. I'm shooting, uh, I'm storing it on a Samsung one terabyte SSD. Then we have the Atomos Ninja right here. And we have a 25 millimeter lens on it. Can't remember, is it Panasonic? Yeah, Panasonic Lumix 25 millimeter f1.7. And then we have the Rode NTG9 microphone. That is one of my audio capture devices. And here is the Sennheiser EWG4 uh, lavalier mic, which probably will be the sound that I'm gonna use uh, but it doesn't hurt to have have a backup and we have a zoom handy recorder uh, H6 I think it is uh, for recording audio and for the main light on the talent we have Aperture 300D Mark II with the light dome 2 as well and up here we have the bowling P1 a little hair light right there <laughs> on a boom stand like this and then we also have the 120D Mark II with the light dome mini 2 so that is my setup and also this lamp in the background creates a nice little environmental light right there so that is my setup for today's interview. The 120D Mark II is pointing straight up in the white ceiling here uh, to light up the background just a little bit. And this boom comes in handy uh, because uh, then I can set the hair light uh, fr from the back without having a tripod visible in frame. So that's good because the Bowling P1 is small and super light. So that's good. And there's the 300D Mark II as well. The 120D is set to 67%. This is, uh, it's not on now, but it's set to 100% power. And 300D Mark II is set to 20%. I'm shooting this on F4 ISO 
150 shutter speed and 25 frames per second. I interviewed three different persons and this is what the raw footage looks like compared to the color graded version. The camera I used for this shoot was a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K and on the left here you can see the settings that I used. When I shoot scenes like this I like to frame the person with a bit of extra space and shoot in 4K since I know that the delivery format is 1920 by 1080 and this way I can crop and do the framing later if I want to. So that's it, a pretty basic light setup for a talking head interview. And this particular setup took about an hour to rig and that includes moving chairs, tables and other stuff out of the way. And also try some different things in the setup like letting the light in through the blinds or keep them closed or whatever fits best. Also change the angle and the position of the lights, uh, different power settings, etc. And also an important part is to make sure that the sound recording works properly. As you could see in uh, the BTS video there, I used both lavalier mics and a boom mic for backup. So it's super important to make sure that the gain levels and uh, everything with the sound is set up the way you want it. And as a little side story here, we got really lucky in the setup because this room had ventilation fans that were controlled by motion sensors. And these fans have like no on and off switch. They just run whenever the motion sensors are triggered. And the sound from these vents was really, really loud, but we couldn't really do anything about it. Uh, but five minutes before we were gonna start, the interviews, uh, the, the maintenance guy showed up and he could actually turn them off, which made a huge difference. The sound recordings I would have had with these fans running would have been awful, so we got really lucky there. Anyways, that's all for this video. Hope you found it useful. If you did, please click that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Bye.